Sape says HYMC has a huge gold and silver resource with the big potential to expand, permitting in place and infrastructure on site, mining friendly area with nearby mines. Undervalued pinned down by spoofing, will run eventually though. So this is in regards to HYMC and a new trending topic around Twitter. It says precious metals. HYMC has been beat up a lot since AMC announced that it bought quite a bit of the mine. If you were to predict the future, do you think HYMC is going to be a part of this entire squeeze? Or do you think HYMC is just a sinking ship? Comment down below. The game is rigged, says ex-Citadel data scientist. Patrick M, an ex-Citadel data scientist, said during the meme stock frenzy that the stock market is rigged and even claimed that he helped design it. The game is not fair and it's never been. Individual investors, even when operating in a swarm, are destined to lose. How do I know? I helped design the game. Not many investors know this, but Patrick actually breaks down how Citadel and other hedge funds were able to make billions back in only weeks from some halts. In this article, we're going to go through it. Listen in. So Patrick appeared on Fox Business during the meme stock frenzy back in 2021, when retail investors created one of the biggest scares in Wall Street history. Between GameStop and AMC shareholders, they were able to create massive panic on Wall Street by buying shares of over-leveraged shorted stocks. And as the prices soared, short sellers experienced massive losses. GameStop was able to put Melvin Capital out of business. Patrick M says other hedge funds were able to make back billions, though, in losses during the halt. The halts allow hedge funds to enter AMC and GME, knowing shares will plummet, allowing them to capitalize on the deflation of the price. Patrick says the rules of the game also heavily favor hedge funds, something that retail investors have urged SEC Gary Gensler to look into and hopefully change. I respect many of my colleagues. The problem isn't the people. It's the rules of the game, which heavily favors the hedge funds.